In this video, I'm going to create a random guest program using PHP only, and I'm going to build it using uh, cPanel and MySQL. Okay. <coughs> and um, I'm going to go to File Manager, and I'm going to go to my uh, public HTML. See what's in here. What do I have in here? Do I have a? I don't have any a kind of API directory in here. So I'm going to create an APIs directory. I'm going to call it APIS. And so I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to just start by creating a new file. And I'm going to call it um, um, assignment 3. Yep, that's a little better name. PHP. Okay. Wow. Edit. Code it. I'm going to just do edit. Okay, so I'm going to edit it. HTML uh, head uh, title um, <clears throat> random guess. And then um, body. I'm going to have a h1 tag which says a random guess program what the game and end of the for h1 header and then I'm going to have a form and I have to every form has to have an action and I'm going to just say I'm going to I'm going to create another uh, html page called um, process underscore guess dot php okay there that's the form uh, I'm gonna need a um, I'm gonna need a uh, 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 okay um, um, enter guess colon uh, and I'm gonna have an input tag input name equals guess that's my guess and then I have a submit button. Input type equals submit. Uh, value equals uh, enter. Uh, um, uh, submit my guess. Okay. Uh, end of form. End form slash form. And then uh, end the body of the HTML document, and then end the HTML document. Okay, and I'm going to save this. It, the title of this is called um, uh, what did I name it again? Oh, assignment three. Well, it doesn't matter. I can just go to uh, joeschmo.ics321.com/apis, and here's my assignment three. Now look at that, and here's my here's my HTML program. There we go. And I enter something and it doesn't do anything because there's no there's nothing there. Okay, that, there's no process guest page. So I gotta make a process guest page, but I also gotta come up with the uh, the number that you're gonna guess, the actual random number that you're gonna guess. So uh, so you're probably just waiting for that part because that's the that's some PHP. Um, I'm gonna uh, just go like this. Um, I'm just going to make a uh, input tag, a hidden input tag. Input uh, type equals hidden equals hidden, and the name is going to equal. Um, I'll call it the um, actual. Isn't that what I called it? The actual number, and the value is. And I'm going to put that in quotes just to make it, you know, and actually be actually, you know, really, these should all be in quotes, but uh, you know, I'm. I take advantage of sometimes being able to be lazy, but anyway, okay. So right in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna in, inject some PHP in there, and the PHP is gonna use the, ran, the it's gonna go use the PHP random number generator and generate a number between one and ten, and it's gonna just, and it's gonna echo it right there. So to, to insert PHP, I go PHP. Okay, now I'm in PHP mode. And I'm going to say echo. I can just go straight to echo. I'm going to uh, 
uh, echo out a random number between 1 and 10, semicolon. And then to end the PHP, I just do like that. So this begins, puts me in PHP mode, and then I can have PHP statements, as many as I want. I only have one. Uh, and then this ends the PHP mode. Okay, so now let's save this. And now I'm going to view it. I'm going to hit refresh here. Refresh. And now let's view some source here. And we see there you go. That's where that was replaced with. See, that's, about, that's what we see. Uh, the PHP was executed over at the server. So um, when I when I try to you know go to this website, I what this does is it requests it it, it goes to the joshmo.ics321.com server and it 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 says I want this web page here and so the server goes and gets the web page and it's it's passing it's sending it back and all of a sudden it hits that beginning php you know all of a sudden it hits uh it hits this right here and then it go and then it switches over to gets the php processor and starts throwing this to the php processor and then if there's then it, it, and sometimes the php processor might echo some something back and and if and whatever is echoed back that just gets sent back out to the browser. So that's the web server doing this. And then, so then once it's, once it hits that, then it's done being in PHP mode, and then the web server just goes ahead and continues to pass out the rest of the stuff. Okay, so that's how that works. So, uh, so that's why we see now, now we see, now there's going to actually be a, um, a, now there's actually uh, a, a value for actual that's going over there. So there's going to be a value for guess and there's going to be a value for actual. Um, so let's make let's make that program that um, so now let's make the uh, this uh, this program. We have to make this process.guess.php program. Okay, let's make that program. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to create a new file and then I'm, I'm going to name it that processguess.php. There it is. And so I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to uh, edit this, edit. So here I am, and uh, it's just going to, I'm just going to send back. So I'm going to do it, the whole HTML thing again. You know, this title is what appears um, up here. See, random guess. That's the title. That's what this is. Um, end the head. Uh, begin the body. Uh, and so I'm going to start that PHP processing right up at the top here. So PHP. And I'm just going to go like this. Okay, that's going to be the end of the PHP. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, I got a couple of, um, of requests coming over. Uh, I have an actual coming over, so I'm going to grab that and put that in a variable. Actual equals, and the way to grab it is like this. So this, um, this is a way to grab this uh, value of this name you know, from here. We're grabbing actual. The name is actual. And it's coming over as a form, form variable, and this is the value we're after, you know, whatever that ends up calculating to. And so, so this is this is what this is what captures it coming over, catches it, and it's going to stick the value in here. And I'll do the same thing for the guess, the guy's guess. And I'm going to check to see if um, the guy's guess was right. And I'm going to do like this. I'm going to do if uh, guess equals actual, then I'm going to say uh, the message is going to be congratulations, um, guess is the correct answer 
Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to say uh, sorry, easy boy. Uh, is so wrong. Try again. Something. Okay, so that's all my calculations. Do I want to do anything else? Um, no. All right, I'm done. So I have a so I have a message here. Um, all right, so now I'm going to do um, um, uh, I'm just going to say. Um, Processing uh, your guess, whatever doesn't matter. I have to put something there, and I'm just going to say um, your guess was guess, and then I'm going to say uh, I'm going to print out the message. already has a period there so I don't need a period here and uh, end body and HTML okay uh, oh I'm gonna put a link back to um, I'm gonna put some breaks here and I'll put a link back to um, oh, 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 oh click back to Try again. A click here to start over. And clicking here is going to, um, I don't have an HTML there. Clicking here is going to uh, go back to the home, go back to the page before, but it's going to refresh it. it it's it's going to actually go back again. When you refresh it, it's going to come up with a new, new random number. Whereas you just, you just hit back, it goes back to the same old page, and so that random number will be there. It will still be there. So I'm going to make this a tag. A href equals um, what is it? What I call it? Random. I called it this. Doesn't matter. You can put the whole thing or whatever you want to do. Of course, you don't have to put the whole thing because we're on that server already. So. Okay, so now I'm going to save this, and I'm going to go, uh, everything's cool. I should just be able to go back here, and I'm going to refresh this. And I'm going to put, um, do a five. What did I forget to do? I forgot to uh, make that echo. Make, forgot to echo that. So i got to go back and fix that. See, I, I, I wasn't thinking. Okay, so it's got to be this. Well, I could, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just do this. Echo dollar sign guess concatenate a period. No, a period and a space. No, I'm going to do it this way. See that? Your guess was, and then it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna echo this out. But when you use double quotes, it'll actually, you know, replace this with what the value is. Where if, whereas if I were to use single quotes, it would not, it would just display out the dollar sign, whatever. But anyway, I want double quotes, and and I'm sure that's the same in every language. What am I? I'm treating you like you guys are dummies. I'm sure it's the same like that in every language. Okay, so I saved this, and now let's do this again. I'm going to just hit refresh. Uh, so your guess was five. Sorry, there's a boy. Five is so wrong. Try again. Okay, so now I can just go back here, and I can try something else. Uh, I can actually say, well, F U three. Hey. Okay, so if I hit back, this is my point. 
and and this is it. This is it. Yeah, three is still there. However, if I go, um, if I were to click here, then this actually goes to the page again, but actually requests it from the server. So now when I view the source, it's going to be a different number.